guys. Hey. And I'm doing this from a different setting as you can obviously see. I'm trying it out with my new camera. So, but this is going to be a different little tea time video because what's going on now is this whole controversy with Sengadi from Big Bang. Hmm. Yeah. We'll start off with just him is now exploding into a huge list. And I mean huge. I don't know who else is on there. I thought I seen the list of other people, but I might be wrong, so don't quote me. But I did hear talk that Zico is also on there. Zico. Y'all know Zico, yeah. I mean, and it's everywhere. It's on all K-pop. It's on, um, it's basically covering YouTube. It's like on Soupy. And it's on, it's just... Wow. It's everywhere. It's covering everywhere. It's not cool. It's ridiculous and it's super sad. So what we're going to do is talk, well, this video is mostly going to be about that. Majority of it. So let's, uh, yeah. Let's, uh, let's start from the beginning with this. When first Singuri was in the whole controversy thing, it was about, I think, corruption. That's as far as I heard. The corruption in it like getting rid of some files and all that jazz fast forward to a few months later now we got prostitution and um sexual acts when you drug a woman and have sex with her and she has no idea what's going on not cool not cool at all i don't know all of the details like that i do know some majority of it so but he has announced his retirement uh, with everything going on. Like on this on the Wikipedia page that I'm reading right here, and y'all guys are gonna see it behind us. Uh, it says Sengadi was named a suspect for offering sexual services to clients from 2015 on my mom's birthday, which is the 11th. He announced his retirement from the industry. So, and the investigation is still going on because this took spot in different parts of, I think, Korea, is what he said. He offered a sincere, he offered, I want to say, sincere um, apology on his Instagram. But then after all of that happened, then we have someone else. Jun Jun Young admits to all the crimes. And announces to leave the industry because he was also in the chat rooms with Sengudi and others about this. And here's his letter right here. I'm willing, I'm writing to you with the embarrassment and guilty conscience. I, Jung Jun Young, arrived back in Korea on March 12th and realized the seriousness of the situation. It's already too late, but I want to deliver an apology to the people who have given me attention and another chance. I admit to all my sins that have been reported. I, I have filmed women with cons without consent and have this um, distributed in social media chat rooms. What? Keep, hold on. And I feel no I felt I felt no guilt while doing so. As a public figure, it was careless act of worthy criticism. I kneel on my knees and want to apologize to the woman in the videos who's faced the disgusting truth through the case and, and feel anger beyond disappointment and shock. I will leave all programs I was on and will hold entertainment promotions. I will not take the time of reflection but will let go of everything as a public figure and look back at my unethical, unlawful, which are considered crimes for the rest of my life. Out of all, I want... Of out of all, I want to apologize to the women, to the women who were harmed by my acts, to those who went beyond disappointment and felt anger, and those who have made me a public figure and cared for me. I will probably participate in the investigation, which is set to start in the morning of the 14th. With all honesty, I will take punishment for my crime. I once again deeply apologize. I am sorry. Wow. Wow. This is real heartbreaking to hear that 
anyone in the K-pop world. And that article can be found on allkpop.com. I found two YouTube videos. Well, there's more than that, but I found two YouTube videos that talks about this, talking about this exactly. So let's see. BTS's fault. Is that BTS twice or so, fault? Why are they going after them? It's not their fault. Your your anger should be directed to the person that did the crime. You can't put it on the group. You can't put it on BTS. You can't put it on you twice. Can't put it on them. You can't definitely. You cannot put it on the girl groups at all either. You can't do that. You can't. Because it's not their it's fault. Not they their had fault. nothing to do with that. Evidently, they didn't know nothing about it. If it's all coming out, so you can't blame them. No, you can't. You that's cannot not blame fair. them at all. That's that's not fair. Blame the person that did the crime. And you can't do I that. I love and I love. Can't do that. I love Big Bang. I love Singity. Him and um. They sung. They're my they're my babies. I love them very much, but Sangity just it's like I don't know what to think. This is like finding this is like finding out that one of my favorite toys was actually a real thing. That I never knew all my life. This this that's that's how I feel about it. It's like finding out that something you really cared about so much is just a lie. Listen, it's like this. That, Every, that's what it feels like. Everybody in life makes mistakes. That's how we grow. We learn from our mistakes. Did he screw up? royally so now it's not about how you fall it's how you get up so he's got a lot to fix and if he's willing and honestly ready to take the punishment he's then he's gonna have to do that that means he's gonna have to take the punishment he's gonna have to be he's gonna have to rebuild himself his name and people is just gonna have to get off their high horse and forgive because you want somebody to forgive you for your for your actions so everybody deserves a second chance. You're not judge nor jury. I mean, forgive them. Yes, it hurts. Yes, you're angry. Like this. But do it's like me, the forgive the person and, and go on. You don't want nobody to throw your past up in your face or your mistakes in your face. So don't throw it up in his. Let him go ahead, serve what he got to do, and then y'all forgive him and let him prove himself and rebuild himself. That's just the bottom line. 
Like, he's human. He, he's not no robot. And every and that's one thing I hate about people in the industry. People think that because they're in the industry that they're not human. That they're not allowed to make mistakes. They're not allowed mm -hmm. to do this. They're not allowed to do that. But they are human first. They, they had to work to get to where they're at. But they are still human. So they are still susceptible to make mistakes. They're going to screw up. You're not going to like it. You're going to get pissed. But people, they are human first. They are entitled to make mistakes and learn from them. You have to forgive. We are not judge nor jury. Forgive it. You don't want nobody to throw your past in your face. Don't throw it in theirs. Forgive them. Move on. And it's how you get up from this mistake. That's just the bottom line. Stop thinking that they are on. Stop putting people on such high pedestals that they're not allowed to make mistakes because this is what happens. Because you got them on such high pedestals that they think that they can do no wrong. Hello, you're human. You can do wrong. Some got money to get away with it. Some, some of them don't. don't. But he got caught. He's admitting to it. He's going to take his punishment. And that's that. Move on. Like, seriously, here's the second video. They're questioned over... What ...hiring from the entertainment industry. Sing Lee made the announcement on his Instagram on Monday with a post that read, I have decided to retire from the entertainment scene at this point Jesus. as this social scandal is too big. This comes as Sydney has been under investigation over allegations that he had brokered prostitutes for his investors back in 2015. The police are also investigating Burning Sun, a local nightclub where Sydney used to serve as executive director over suspicions of illegal drug use, sexual mm. assaults, and corrupt deals with police officials at the club. And tensions are on the rise in the entire K-pop scene as police investigations have also revealed that singer Chong Jun Young had illegally filmed and shared private sex videos and photos with his celebrity friends, including Seung Lee. Chong Jun Young's agency responded on Tuesday with an official statement that said the singer, who is currently in America to film a variety show, will be returning to Korea right away so he can take part in the police questioning. Both Sunni and Chong Jun Young have said they will actively cooperate in the investigations. South Korean President Moon Jae in begun his state visit. So we're going to stop right there because it's going on to some other stuff. Um. They're taking their punishment. They're taking their so punishment. So let them, let them, let them take it. Because let's let be real. If that was over here in America and it was somebody else, you know they would have had warriors fighting for months. Fighting, saying, I never did this, I never did this. And then they're going to come back and say, yeah, I did. No. I'm disappointed and I'm hurt. I'm very heartbroken about this. I really am. I, I don't know what to think. I've been reading on this ever since, oh God, since the first controversy of Singhati came out. Because I've been keeping up with it. And it just hurts. But let's be real. If they were in America, American singers, would they have got, like, would, would this have gone so easy as to say, oh, they'll cooperate? Let's be honest here. Come on. You can't blame other people for somebody else's mistake. You, you can't, can't do that. So I'm kind of disappointed in the fans. I'm really more so disappointed with Sankity. But I respect both him and JJY for coming out and saying, yes, I did it. Yes, here's the tapes. I'm not denying it. I'm coming and forward I'm come with it. And I'm, I'm cooperating. So that's, that's the first step. That's the first step. I applaud that. I'm hurt. I'm disappointed. Mm, it is what it is. But it's just the bottom line. At the end of the day, when you're wrong, you're wrong. I can't hold a grudge forever. Neither can y'all. So... And if you can't you take the consequences for your actions, and exactly. that's just what it boils down to. That's it. It hurts. It hurts a lot because I think mom was just jamming. No, he was jamming the icon last night. I'm sorry. But we were just over here singing um, a couple of days ago one of Big Bang songs. Um, what was it? Fantastic Baby. And my son was dancing around the house because that's one of his favorite songs. So. I mean, it's not going to make us stop listening it's to not, the it's music. Not. It's not going to make us stop listening to Big Bang. Absolutely not. <laughs> the music has nothing to do with the <laughs> action of the man. Exactly. I mean, absolutely not. Like, if this happened all in 2015 and we knew nothing about it, do you really think it's going to stop us? Like, oh my God, that happened in 2015. This song the came music out in 2015. Is good. Uh, the music is music. Hey, 
I like the music and I'm going to still jam to it. Exactly. But this in no way... He just got to get like, his stuff together. Okay. I'm this is going to be brought up in the video. R. Kelly and Sangadi. Wait a minute. He had that I'm interview. So R. Kelly right now. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so sick of hearing about R. Kelly. He had that interview on Good Morning America, I believe. And you see how quickly he spazzed with Gale. out yeah. with Gail? Because he know he wrong. He know he wrong. If now he... look at the, now compare with R. Kelly's interview and the way Sangadi and JJY handle it. I was always taught and brought up if you did nothing wrong, then you have no reason to get upset. But if you're wrong, just take it like take it like a man that you are. If you did it, face the consequences. There's always an action for I mean, the consequences. These are two different There's a consequences men. for your react for your these, actions. These are three different men. Two and the different way that cultures. they handled it, okay, yeah, they were right. They did it. They paying a consequence. All right, Kelly, he just spelled just... <laughs> man, shut. Everybody know you did, did it. it. You videotaped <laughs> it. They didn't allow it to circulate because nobody knew nothing about it. No one knew. It is 2019 and we're just finding out this man did something in 2015. Like, Come on now. We knew about this from R. Kelly for really? years. I mean, okay. Well, y'all threw Bill Cosby in the jail for something he did eons yeah. ago. So why is R. Kelly still out? What makes Thank him any you. different? Thank you. Thank you. T on that. And y'all still got him out. Walking the streets, making songs. Susan, I see you walk up in the club. I'm a flirt. Uh-uh. No, this is a boys and girls club. Hold up. Wait a minute. Back up. <laughs> that what these two did. If you didn't do it, you wouldn't have no reason to get upset. And came forward and said that, yes, we did it. We are deeply ashamed and we want to make things right. We're going to step back from the entertainment industry altogether and get this settled down. And They're coming out of the group so they won't bring no flack on them. Exactly. But I mean, I mean, come on. Come on, Kelly. You you messing up, baby. You messing up. I need you to get your life. It's uh. It's... And and my Tamar voice. Get your yeah, life. Get your life. Okay. Get your life. <laughs> so it's it's this whole discussion of this is this is really a hard hitting thing. And yeah, that's. I, I'm sorry to hear that these guys did this. Yes. I'm sorry for the for the young ladies that were caught up in this and mm. was hurt by this, but um. Like I said, they, they, they're owning up to it. You make mistakes. Stop putting people on pedestals. Remember, these are human beings. They had to work hard and bust their behinds to get to where they're at. We all know how hard it is for anyone so, in Sangadi's shoes it's to just, get where they're at, especially for Big Bang. So now he's got to start better. all over again. You can't, you, you can't attack other can't groups that. that have worked equally as hard for what one person from another company did. You I can't just, do that. I hope the girls get some help, some yes. therapy, mm -hmm. and they can go on with their lives. I, I really do. I, it's easier said than done, but it can be done. And forgive. That's all. Forgive because if you don't forgive, it's gonna it's gonna hold on to you, and it's gonna run your life. That all that hate and stuff is gonna run your life. Just forgive and, and keep going. You can't. But it's heal. not how you fall. It's how you get up. You can't heal. Holding on to barbed wire. Can't do it. Both have announced. Both have announced their retirements from both the entertainment industries. Sangudi did it to protect YG and Big Bang's rap, and applause for him for that. He doesn't want to hurt his brothers, and I get it. But it is circulating everywhere. It's like I said, it's so sad. It is sad, but they're gonna be all right. They're at fault, yes, but I'm not gonna hold the grudge forever for that. I'm not, I'm not gonna hold a grudge. Period. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna hold a grudge. Like, like, First of all, it's not me that they did the harm to. Exactly. They really hurt themselves. Mhm. Mm and of course, the young ladies that were involved. Yes. So, once they ask for forgiveness from the man above, mm -hmm. the young ladies, they got to forgive themselves yeah. and start the process of, of rebuilding their name now because now you've heard a lot of fans who supported you and didn't want to believe that this is true. So. It's, it's going to be hard for you to come back. You're going to have a real hard comeback, but you'll be all right. I would say for you, still you guys, have some call, you still got some fans out there that's going to stick by you no matter what. We've been one. We've been two of them. I would say for you guys and whoever else is on there, give it some years. Give it some years before you decide to come back. I'm pushing 27 right now, and second to you're 28, and I would say give it some years. I mean, if you still want to come back. 
and get out of retirement and do something like I don't know if you, a big bang will do a farewell tour when they um whenever the year is that they officially disband or whatnot or like officially disband not disbanding because of this officially disband but if you still want to go into the music business then fine be a producer okay just don't get caught up in the corruption again so in all this you guys we're I think we're done. Are we done, Archie? Yeah. Well, I'm just about done. I'm just about done as well. Uh, it will be okay. I love you both. Love, love you both yeah, very that, much. That part right there. And I uh, hope you guys pull through it. Y'all will. Knowing that you did the right thing by coming forward. You guys will. Okay. It'll be alright. We are out of here, guys. We will see you next Tea Time Tuesday. And uh, hopefully with some better news. Yeah. Some better news. <laughs> All right. We'll see y'all later. Annyeong. Annyeong.